During the Cold War, American and Soviet weapons designers engaged in a competition to deploy the most advanced platforms across air, land, and sea. Below the ocean's surface, this rivalry intensified, with submarines playing a crucial role in the nuclear triad. Thus, possessing a capable submarine fleet became a vital aspect of each superpower's nuclear deterrence strategy. The Soviets, while fielding proficient submarines, faced a significant drawback, their submarines were exceptionally loud. Soviets initially disregarded the noise emitted by their submarines. Many Soviet Cold War submarines, despite being fast and heavily armed, lacked stealth, primarily due to the high decibel levels caused by cavitation. Cavitation, stemming from the propeller's rapid rotation, led to the creation of low-pressure pockets and bubbles along the propeller blade. As these bubbles detached and snapped back into a neutral pressure state, a loud popping sound ensued, easily detectable. To address this issue, the Soviets opted for espionage over industrial innovation, turning to an unexpected source, an American, John Anthony Walker, to gain insights into U.S. submarine secrets. Walker, who joined the U.S. Navy in 1955 as an alternative to prison, rose to the rank of Chief Petty Officer aboard the elite Navy Lafayette-class nuclear submarine USS Andrew Jackson. Walker's classified information proved valuable to Moscow, leading to a long-term collaboration fueled by financial motivations and Walker's recruitment of a spy ring, including family members. Walker's espionage significantly contributed to the Soviet Union's gains in naval warfare, providing access to weapons, sensor data, naval tactics, and various training aspects, as noted by the U.S. Naval Institute's Naval History magazine and former Secretary of Defense Caspar Weinberger. The Victor III-class submarine exemplified Soviet naval advancements, boasting a notably reduced acoustic signature, humorously dubbed the Walker Submarine by cynical U.S. Navy sailors. American attempts to gather intelligence on the espionage-backed Victor III led to a classified incident in 1981, where the USS Drum collided with the Victor III Sub K-324 while attempting to photograph an unknown pod. The Reagan administration concealed the incident, and the public only learned about it in 1993 when the Clinton administration declassified the mishap of the USS Drum.